Free America, and this is Uncle Sam with music and the truth until dawn. Right now, I've got a few words for some of our brothers and sisters in the occupied zone. The chair is against the wall. The chair is against the wall. John has a long mustache. John has a long mustache. It's 12 o'clock, Americans, another day closer to victory. And for all of you out there on or behind the lines, this is your song. <laughs> And welcome, everybody, to our Daily Gun Show. We come to you live every weeknight at midnight Eastern, and we talk about guns for an hour. Uh, this is uh, episode number 804. It's happening on a Thursday, so that means we're going to talk about, uh, well, I don't know what we're going to talk about. I think I was talking about changing the Thursday lineup, and I forgot what I was changing it to. So we're going to talk about something. Uh, it's a panel discussion made up of links invites that go out over to gunchannels.com a community that's going on six years old a place for people that are interested in talking about second amendment issues and guns uh have a place to uh, get together and gather and network and collaborate so we've got links out and a bunch of people joined us tonight uh, we've got angelina joining from california good to see you thanks for joining in hello thanks for the invite it's gonna be awkward tonight but uh thanks for joining anyway and we got cycle jumping in from uh, connecticut thanks for joining Hi, everybody. Sorry, I haven't been around much. That's right. We're doing docket from your pay, of course. And then we got Dead Horse jumping in from Utah. Thanks for joining. Oh, see, he's getting docked from his pay also. He's not showing up on time. Somebody clock in for him? What's going on? Then we got Gary joining from Kansas. Thanks for jumping in. Hey, thanks for the invite. Oh, Snob just really jumped in at the last minute from... Well, from Indianapolis, where Pink is also. So we got Pink and Snob jumping in from Indianapolis. Yeah. Oh, I got more. I got more. Say hello, guys. From all that racket, it sounds like you got other people hello, jumping hello, in. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. All of us are here. All right, so it sounds like Armentia and... <laughs> <laughs> that was Tardot, Obnoxious, and Ohio 45. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if you guys are passing around a helium balloon or what, but good welcome. And then uh, Pink is joining from Indianapolis as well from his hotel internet. Yep, thanks for the invite. Now you're sounding pretty clear, but you're saying you're having connection issues. Snob, where are y'all? Are you like physically without giving away OPSEC? Like, are you a place where there's good internet? Yeah, we have Wi Fi at our house. We're at a house here on the northeast side of town in the oh. ghetto. No, it's never in the ghetto, but close. Yeah, usually those bed and breakfasts have awesome internet. Yeah, we had several of us on during Sarge's show all at once, all on each one of our devices, and we were fine. Right on. Yeah, you guys sound loud and clear now. Hold on. It looks like we're having some issue. Dead Horse, try saying something again. Can, can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, you're good now. You were just muted before, I think, is all. Okay. All right, so, yeah, we got a – actually, I think our topic tonight is what to do when girls attack. So, I guess Angelina can either – I'll be the one doing the attacking. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be awkward. But uh, so I also got a bunch of people in Indianapolis, so we can talk about when Indy cars attack or, you know, the NRA show or whatever it's called. Anyway, so it's episode 804. It's a panel discussion. How was everyone's trip to, how was the travel for everyone? Wet. Definitely wet. <laughs> it's, oh, it's coming down like cats and dogs. Oh, really? Yeah, we drove six hours in nonstop pouring rain. Oh, really? So uh, dangerous type of stuff or just wet? Uh, there was a few times that it was really heavy, but most of the time it was just really wet. I don't know if anybody else had any. I had, I was like, my it was hours. only three hours. So <laughs> I had a couple hours of rain, but nothing got really heavy. Not while yeah. I was on the road. It was all light coming here, and then this evening, probably what, five or six, it just opened up. Oh, yeah, it's just poured. It finally quit raining at our house up here. Pretty much quit raining now, and it's pretty recent. Now, I've heard that this is a result of the gun lobby and all the money that they funnel into politics. Is that true? Can you collaborate that? I was told it was, I was told it was tears. Stuff like tears. Liberal <laughs> tears. It's, it's chemtrails. It's turning the frogs gay. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about the elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about and had dead air already because of it. Pink just let us know the big secret is that the Eastern time zone has 
forced its way all the way over to the other side of Indiana. So y'all are in Eastern time zone now, which is on. It's, it's uh, what's the word? It's just disgusting. So it's ridiculous. It's right it caused, I didn't. I didn't realize in. in Apples was in the Eastern Time Zone, which caused me not to get here in time to get my press pass today. I did just Seriously, because you're trying to drive three time zones or something, right? Now, because they changed this, because of this this bureaucracy garbage, and now you literally planned on being there an hour different than what their little shif- shuffled time is. They just did that for the NRA show, I heard. Oh. <laughs> Ohio said they just did that for the NRA show, is what he heard. I don't know. We can't. We cannot deny or confirm that. Are you <laughs> Tardot said it was Wayne Lapierre's lobby and it got it? Are done. you people with Clover or is he someplace else? No, the girls actually went over there to their house and left Walmart. us. So there's there's ghosts. He's probably escaping the girls. You guys have separate houses for gals and guys. That's kind of weird. Damn, damn straight. <laughs> worried about the girls attack. <laughs> Yeah, but all the girls went to Ghost of Clover's house. I don't know what we're gonna do. They know they they know where the power is, baby. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure y'all are down the street. Yeah, we're like, they said we're like ten minutes from you guys. Are, are you like actual ten minutes from us? Or, or you, That's what they said. Like, That's what they down said. Down Troy's down. like they're like right down the road. Yeah, we're like ten minutes from you guys. Is there anyone that knows how many people are from Gun Channels at the show or going to be at the show? Um, yeah, I don't know. Budget. A bunch. You got six here. You got Budget Dungeon here. It's going. Um, Roll call. Roll going. And you guys got three. Um, Access is Access. coming. There's probably a... Saturday. It's going to be around 15 or more. I know there's a couple of them that are just coming in, like, for Saturday only. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Roll Rick. Rick's Life as I see is supposed to be here Saturday. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. That's good. So hopefully there can be some sort of an opportunity for everybody to get the largest group of gun channels patches in a picture ever. Well, we're doing it. We're having a cookout Saturday night here at the house for everybody. And so we figured we'd do the, the gun channels picture here at the house during the barbecue. Well, I definitely don't think there needs to be one. And so well, no, no, no. I'm just saying like the, the G, the G picture. We always hold the G's. Yeah. The, yeah. So I'm going to urge you to not wait for one because that's how we end up having, oh, we should have taken more pictures type of after action. So I'm going to encourage everyone whenever there's people around doesn't hurt to take an extra digital picture, right? Hey, is anybody... Yeah, then just pick the biggest one after. Yeah, exactly. Pick the biggest one. But say let's put some sort of contest. The biggest one will get a cartoon or whatever. So go for the best ones, biggest ones. Anyway, I also want to encourage you all to uh, collaborate. Lots of people showing up, work the trigger. Somebody who's posted on gun channels, made a channel, uh, has done some really cool uh, gun chats that are like 100% gun chat. Uh, I don't know if you guys have met up with that guy before. On oh, yeah. yeah. I know work real well. Yeah, he's a good guy, really good guy. Well, he's there. Uh, then, of course, um, I'm never always going to remember. I'm never going to get his name right. The dude. You would tell go on the main page of gun channels here. Um, we've got... Uh, Scrolling. Busy day on gun channels today. Um, dude, guns and guys gadgets. and gadgets. Guns and gadgets from Massachusetts. Yeah. And I always say guns and gear from Pennsylvania, which is why nobody who's on talking about half the damn time. But uh, guns and gadgets uh, is there. And I let him know, hey, if you need like a battery or a cord or whatever, we got lots of gun channels people there because he's doing some really cool stuff. Um, anyway, so uh, I know is Liberty Doll going? Does anybody know if she's going? No idea. No idea. Kind of close. Not really that close, Pennsylvania, I guess. Who went there? Okay, I'm here. Who, uh, no, was... no, Liberty Doll. Liberty Doll's not coming. However, uh, tomorrow night, uh, she's running a private patron only live stream to test her live stream. She's never done live before. And uh, yeah, she's going to start doing live streams after that. Very cool. So. Who drove the furthest to get to NRA annual meeting? Probably Clover. Clover, Clover, Clover. Uh, I'll ha- I would have to. I'm smoking a pipe, and I don't want to get the smell in the car to look. But we're damn near 900 miles. One way. I would look at my car, but my wife took off with our car. I don't know where they are. How 
uh, how much presence is NRA, the 80,000 people that are showing up in Indianapolis, how much presence are they making on the town? Uh, usually they'll have things at the airport and signs signs around. Is it a welcoming thing? Is it a about aware? about twenty minutes ago? We were driving through downtown Indianapolis by Lucas Oil Stadium, the football stadium on the highway, and there is a big ass banner that says "NRA in Crisis" in big, huge letters. So that's how they're welcoming us. Well, we didn't get the privilege of driving through downtown because the traffic was backed up like no other, so it rerouted us through the ghetto. So we didn't see anything of NRA, anything. Hold on, Ghost. What did you say there? That was an NRA message? It was, it was a big billboard that says NRA in crisis. Like a Bloomberg said. message or an NRA yeah, message? Yeah, like a, like a Bloomberg message. Interesting. Yes. Oh, man, I'm glad you clarified that. I thought you said that science said NRA was racist. And I'm saying, oh, my God, I can't believe that shit. <laughs> so thank you for clarifying that. I got to clear the wax out of my ears here. Well, I've been saying it for a while that, you know, Bloomberg is, you know, they smell blood in the water. And, uh, you know, and when we're divided like this and all that, they smell that blood and that's when they're going to attack, right? I've been saying this for a while. Let me take a second to narrow cast to potatoes out there. He was asking who's the Liberty person we were talking about. That is Liberty Dahl. Um, where is she? Massachusetts. And she does sort of a libertarian half an hour ish news type of feed, but she's also very pro two A. Anyway, she's uh, Inst or YouTube and Gun Streamer. And that's where I found oh. her on Gun Streamer, and then I guess she's been doing yeah. YouTube for a while. And she's on full thirty two, but yeah, but yeah. All right. So, uh, did anyone do the extra legal stuff going through Illinois? Or go around and pretty much everyone opted to not waste an hour and a half driving through better states like kentucky and tennessee and drove through illinois right everybody complied yeah, we stopped about 10 minutes prior to the state line got some gas used the restroom got some drinks and sodas put our guns in a box in the trunk and drove on through it took about two hours i guess two hours or so to get through illinois from where we were going ah but did you separate the ammunition into a separate box did i did Oh, man. Yeah, I, I had to put two safes in my van when I was making the, the trip out that way the last time. What a pain in the ass. Yeah, we stopped it. We stopped just inside of St. Louis and ate lunch and then unloaded our guns after lunch, locked them up, and then stopped at the rest area right inside Illinois and got them back out and did all that. Even though I read you don't have to, but I didn't want to risk it because I ain't got the money to go to court and fight it, so... Well, yeah, they, they say that you can uh, have a concealed carry gun in your car. It just can't leave the car. And last thing, you know, we were talking about with Clover is, is the last thing that is maybe a, an emergency pit stop or something and forget about it. So we just went ahead and locked them up. I just figure it's not worth the court battle if I'm not planning on stopping there anyway. So, Ironically, I only saw one cop the whole time we were on the highway. Really? That's the only state I saw any state police in was Illinois. And the whole way from I saw two. to there, Did we saw see? several troopers. Well, we saw one had someone pulled over, and then one, I guess, creeping. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. They'll have uh, different types, too. I mean, there's lots of different states y'all are driving through, but just FYI, there's a ton of pursuits and capture cars out there that are probably state level that look totally nondescript until they light up. Lots and lots yeah. of like the unmarked stuff that don't just look like, you know, we, uh, we stuff. ran into, we ran into a Dodge charger, which was the telltale sign of it. Just as we crossed over to Arkansas and it was red and it had one emblem like their state true, uh, whatever state police emblem on the, on the passenger's door, but not on the driver's door and nowhere else. It was like a yeah, magnetic, ma was like a magnetic emblem. We're sneaky like that in Arkansas. And then it had it had the lights, of course, that were inside, like on the dash and in the back deck. Uh, but it, I, I'm guessing it was on the passenger door. That way, when they're driving down a highway, you don't see that emblem. Yeah, well, it's I'm, just because Arkansas, Arkansas is so poor, they go to Vista Print and buy the one magnet or the buy the two magnetic signs. But <laughs> well, we're getting ready to be right? we're getting ready to be ninety million dollars richer when CZ opens her headquarters up in Little Rock. So sure, I heard you saying that earlier. Yeah, I didn't have to do anything. I had my gun on the hip all the way from uh, my place. <laughs> He's here. So, um, hey, and, you're here. 
Yeah. Hell nice. yeah. Nice. And, and even before I got into uh, Indiana, I, I've got an app on my phone that tells me you know, what states have reciprocity. It, it gives me all the laws for that state. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, pretty much yeah. everything. And, oh, yeah, and US, USDCA has a great app and website you can do all that with also. So, yeah. But uh, let's see, there's no duty to retreat in Indiana, just to put that out there. Uh, there's no duty to inform. So you don't have to inform anybody. That's the other big question, yeah. Especially and then, the, and then the other one is: do do the uh, do the signs on a business have the true force of law? Yeah. It, 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 we're, you know, Connecticut, it's it's not really a problem unless you refuse to leave. Well, right? that's actually an instant, in, uh, in a specific one for this show, and just recently. But that's another great point: is. Uh, the, uh, how valid the signage is and how appropriate the signage has to be and again then you know if it is one of those states where it has to be correct you have to know what correct is so you know if it's you know what the deal is but does anybody want to bring up the situation this year specifically with bloomberg's effort at stores and the signage well, I, 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 it has nothing to do with that necessarily, but I do know that our uh, that guy's wife was talking that they're having a fashion show Saturday night, and the original venue that they were going to have it at, at the last minute pulled out, and they had to go find another venue because they didn't want gun-related stuff in their venue. I don't know if that was Bloomberg or not, but I thought that was interesting. Well, I'm sure that that was the instigation of it, right? So, yeah, um, yeah, I would have to imagine it has something stuff? to do with it, yeah. Has anybody heard about the signs, the store signs? In Indiana? I've heard about it, but I haven't. Yeah. We just drove in, so I haven't seen it, but I've heard about them, yeah. I'm looking right now. It says, no laws found to enforce no gun signs. While entering such a establishment may not be prohibited by law, law enforcement interpretations and reactions can vary. And I, I was, uh, well, I had a question earlier because I didn't know because someone came out and said that Fox had an announcement that we couldn't carry at the NRA show. And so I, I texted a friend of mine who has been here all day and asked him, and he would know. And he said, he's pretty sure you can in the expo, but maybe not in the meetings and stuff where the president and vice president are going to be speaking, but in the expo itself, he's pretty sure you can carry. So once again, we're talking about a news source taking a bit of information and running with it. Yeah, they had it on their website that you can carry into the actual industry show. You just can't be at the... Uh, yeah, the in the expo, but not where the meetings are. Yeah. You guys are talking about the, the venue or whatever and the actual show, but uh, something that, uh, again, Guns and Gadgets posted earlier this morning uh, is this sign, which Bloomberg has been distributing throughout Indianapolis. Uh, the sign is uh, like a shitty red color. And it's got some sort of uh, probably a Lord's end with a uh, line through it. And uh, it says in white lettering, we prefer to provide our patrons with a gun free environment. <clears throat> and below the no gun thing, it says, please respect, respect our policy. We deny entry to anyone carrying a firearm. Uh, and then below that, it says active law enforcement officers and others specifically authorized by management exempt. And then it says pursuant to criminal, Indiana criminal trespass statute, blah, blah, blah. So, if it's like if it's like Ohio, they can't trust or they can't file charges unless you it's a use yeah. So if it's a, if it's a public if it's a public uh, if it's a public uh, whatever open to the public, then yeah, they have to at first ask you to leave and you refuse before it's trespassing. Okay, so again, I'm going to finish my thought here that if they have a, a specific campaign specifically for the show. And they're going to encourage people to put up a sign like this. The concept, the the theoretical debate on whether or not the sign complies with Indiana state law and therefore carries the weight of law with it is theoretical. The repercussion, the consequences could be erroneous police called uh, to subway restaurants or whoever's putting these things up because people are trying to eat lunch. So I guess that's why I'm bringing it up, not to have a big debate necessarily on whether or not, you know, you're going to yell, shall that be infringed, but whether or not, uh, I don't know, you guys have seen these signs? 
I haven't. No, I have know. You know. If you've been looking at stores, or if it's as you're driving past, you can't help but see these things posted everywhere. But uh, just another element to this whole thing. Yeah, I haven't seen any yet. And the thing is, but, yeah, they don't hold any weight of law on them. So it's, can't hear you. I say we. Ha I haven't seen any yet, but they they don't hold any weight of law on them. It's just you strictly just get a trespass. But, Again, yeah, but my concern is not the idea that anyone's going to go to jail over it. My concern is that if the in uh, the unaware store owner is delivered this sign by someone who suggests that it has any consequence, and then they act on it, then does it really matter if Indiana puts the weight of law behind that sign when you are actually trying to go do something and instead you're being tied up at a store? Right, because of some perception and some little thing, and that's all I'm getting at. And I'm just mostly curious because I'm just hearing about it this morning, and you are actually there again. If you're seeing these signs as you go to stores and get gas, or if they're like around the event, some of you had gone to the place, the venue, to get your passes and stuff. So were these things around? No, they weren't. Nope, I didn't see it. I think the biggest problem we're looking at is not the criminal side. It's it's you're looking at if something does happen and someone takes a picture, the meme's going to be gun owners breaking, you know, there, there can be come up with some dangerous memes out there and Instagram or whatever. So that's, that's, that's an actual worry. I mean, you have to figure out that someone's, if a business owner is going to put that sign in there and is going to call the cops, they're going to take a picture with their phone, you know, and that could be bad press. You know, regardless if we're doing anything wrong, the the visual of that does not look good. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. 80,000 people showing up. I'm assuming most of those people are travelers, right? And they show up and now are we going to have a thousand people trying to get a pretzel and turn into, I don't know, is that maybe a new strategy to, to do something goofy like that? Um, a question that came up in the chats, I think on the Gun Channel site a little earlier um, from... Uh, Pete was, how is the general vibe there pre-show? They followed up with protest, protesting, positive, etc. I didn't see anybody protesting. That's the same. We, we literally got here half an hour ago, so I have no idea. I haven't seen anybody protest. Uh, we were up there picking up our passes earlier, and I, I really think, though, that you know, if we're going to see any protesting, it's probably going to be tomorrow or Saturday, most likely. Saturday is the, the most likely one because that's also going to probably be the busiest day. Yeah, we saw a lot of news crews earlier. News any, crew. any welcome NRA signs floating around in the businesses? I haven't seen any. I'll bet you when they have the Indianapolis 500, like you're saying, like the gas stations have these banners that pop up and say thanks for, for you know, thanks for the aid in the local economy or thanks for being here. Stop by our store and get a discount. You know, I, I don't, I'll find more out tomorrow. I would have to imagine from what I understand about Indiana as a, as a state is it's very pretty much pro-gun. So even though that there might be these signs out there, I would think that, I would like to think that the NRA is not going to position themselves in a place where they could have really, really bad press. So I'd like to think the majority will welcome the gun owners to the city. I don't know that. I would think so. Money, 80,000 people eating lunch. That's a bunch of money right yeah. there. Everybody that's, gets hotel rooms. Yeah. I can't even imagine how much money that is. Probably yeah. gas, right? Some other stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're just, you know, I just, I just can't imagine that the NRA puts itself in a position knowingly that they're going to be in a place that could be anti-gun they obviously are going to build this there's a built-in factor of protest for the nra period no matter where you go but i can't imagine them going somewhere that it's going to be outwardly against guns so i, I just that, that's just that's just me maybe i'm naive i don't know all right well that's called dead air so so, we couldn't um, get unmuted. Now, couldn't get his fat fingers to the mute button. Yeah, I press the every button but the mute button. And drop out like space bar is a mute button on a phone or on a computer. Yeah, we're on a phone tonight. 
All right, so anybody forget anything? Everybody kind of gone through their stuff. Everybody's good to go for the show. Uh, it's uh, Potatoes was asking about booths, but from what I understand, there's probably setup and some things happening today, but for the most part, the show is open. Is it all day tomorrow or half day tomorrow and then Saturday and Sunday? All, all, all day Saturday. tomorrow, all day Saturday, I think till 4 o'clock on Sunday, I believe. Okay, so it is all day tomorrow. It's not like a gun show. Like you can get there bright and early, stay till 5 tomorrow. I think it's eight to five or eight to six tomorrow or something. Yeah. Nine to six. Nine to six. Okay. Nine to six. Yeah. Are most people staying until Sunday from gun channels? Uh, I think so. I think the majority yeah. of us. Yeah. I'm here. I'll probably be leaving around lunchtime on Sunday, but I'll be there for a few hours. Yeah, that's um, probably what on we'll Sunday. Do lunchtime, one or two, something leave. Did most of you guys drive down there? Do you have a lot of flyers? Uh, nobody here. Nobody here flew. We all drove. Snap drove up from Oklahoma. I drove up from North Carolina. Ohio 45. He, he, I would imagine he came in from Ohio. Pennsylvania, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tardot and Gunpowder came from Michigan. So that's what we've got here. Roll calls driving. Does roll calls helicopter count? Like when he takes his helicopter from his estate uh, over to the roof of the place? Actually, I think he's planning on stringing a few ducks together this year <laughs> and uh, flying them in. Uh, I think he's got the Blue Angels bringing a banner over saying vote for roll call. <laughs> he's going to hold up the president. The sad it's thing is, is I, I, would, I wouldn't put that past him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as far as I, I don't know of anybody that's flying in. I don't think so. Not, from, not that we've had any discussions with. I mean, Sarge could surprise us and, <laughs> and fly in, but I don't think that's going to happen. We'll All right, well, Potatoes was asking about Geisley, Dead Air, and Surefire, well, and Trijicon. If anybody's planning on looking at those or still has room in their slots, he's curious. I was going to stop at Geisley. Definitely, yeah. definitely stopping by Geisley for sure. We actually, we actually got oh, yeah, so. a little early. Uh, so, like, when we went to go pick up our press passes, we actually, well, I finagled my way in there. And I'm like, and I told. I feel like the thing to So you got to walk the floor while they were setting up. Uh, I already talked to guys, Lee. I talked to Trigicon as well. The Trigicon site is actually going to be at Kenzie's Optics as well as Euro Optics. They're basically trying to tell most people to go there. Um, they're also going to have it on display, but they're trying to tell people to go there because that's where customers will be able to put in like their pre-orders. It's not coming out till June, though. That new so, SRO site? Yeah. Yeah, that, that looks fire. I like and, that. Um, so, so the funny thing is, like, um, the Delta, so the Leopold Delta is, like, the, the number one competition optic that most competitors like to shoot, more so than the RMR, because it has the larger field of view. If it, if, I haven't seen it yet, per se, because, like, I asked them, like, you know, like, like I could see it early, but they, like, they didn't have it out. Um, if the field of view is the same size, or if not bigger, and I'm guessing it's bigger just by the picture, it's going to, it's going to rob that market, and if it's up to Trigicon quality build, It'll take the tactical market at the same time. Even if it's not as sturdy as the RMR, the fact that it's a bigger field of uh, you know bigger field of view and it's somewhat durable, I think it, I think that thing will clean house. Yep, so I agree with you. Trigicon basically told me today because I was I was so I know the guys at Kenzie's Optics. I know the owner and um, you know like he actually like he actually saw me walking by. He was like, hey, I didn't recognize him because he shaved his beard. But he called me over and he was like, and, and he was talking to the Trigicon guy. And I was just hey, like, hey, I was like, so where's it going to be on display? Da, 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 da. He's like, it's going to be on display here, Euro and Kenzie's. But we're trying to send everyone to those because they'll take the pre-order there. So, Marco flew, but you flew to Ohio and drove in with Pink? I actually, I actually so the funny thing was, so my, my airfare hookup guy, um, he's African and he was in Africa and I talked to him like three weeks before. He's like, yeah, 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 I'll get to it, I'll get to it. I sent him a text message like a week before and it was like four days before the trip. And I was like, the car rates are low. He hasn't gotten back to me. Let me just book the car. And I booked the car and he calls me like 13 hours later. He's like, hey, you still wanna book that flight? And I was like, I literally just booked the car. The cancellation fee was like a hundred dollars. So. You know, okay, like, I was going to ask if anybody was because you were the only one probably flying. If the airports, I'm assuming the Indianapolis airport was like Vegas airport during shot, where like a good majority of the people there are industry and 
uh, attendees. So it'd been like a real interesting murmur in the airport to have all the gun conversations happening. So I actually just picked up two friends from the airport and took them to their hotel and then we went out to go eat dinner with a couple of companies. And um, literally like, I, literally like, so I'm, I'm on my, so I was like, like, I was like, call me like when you get the baggage claim and I'll leave, I'll leave all, like our hotel because we we're like five minutes from the airport. So I, I leave, I leave the place and before I even pull up to the airport, they're like, hey, do you have room for one more? And I was like, yeah, like fine. Like it's an empty car and, and, the, and the trunk and my car is huge. So they were like, uh, they were, so they get in the car. They're like, yeah, uh, like you know, like like we met a friend on like on the flight who's also at the NRA show, and he stayed at the same hotel. We figured we could just drop him off. So yeah, so it is. So like it is buzzing with gun people. Um, there's a lot of gun people, people here. When I when I walked out front a couple hours ago, you know, I was holding the door for people. Oh, speaking, 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 speaking of gun people here, guess who's staying at our airport? G Webs already knows. Everyone guessed. In your wildest dreams, guess who we ran into at the lobby, and I got to take a picture with and chat it up with them for uh, Chuck I Norris twice. Twice. No, but all these people are gonna meet Chuck Norris, bastards. Britney Spears. No, not cooler. You would hey, be I just more want, excited. I, did, I just want to tell you something. Everybody at the place we're staying is gun people. I'm just just saying that. Yeah. But at the place you're staying, Masada Yub is not there. Masada Yub is not at your place you're staying. Well, he's. he's his brother's here. He's standing right beside me. He goes by Ohio 45. But, I mean, he's close. It ain't Masada. You call me. He's right around the corner from us, too. So. Yeah. Is anybody planning on getting a Chuck autograph? I'm saying hey to Chuck. I might ask him for an autograph, but ask him what Bruce Lee was like. That might really upset him. Hey to Chuck Norris. They've already they posted some pictures of the thing. He's good. looks like he's going to be there just like uh, Gunny was doing autographs. You know, repping the company in that same way. That'll probably be a long line. Then. Oh man, tell me about it. I've seen him a couple of times. I'm trying to remember where, but uh, I would imagine if it's like an opportunity to get an autograph, yeah, it's going to. I would assume it's going to be a line just like Gunny's always was, basically around the whole booth. He's a pretty small guy, isn't he? I think he's a pretty small guy, like short, like height wise. Everybody's small dudes, man. I don't know everybody. Well, they're all they're all big. To, they're all small to you, but they're all not to me. You know. <laughs> you know who's small? Everybody says is super small is uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Everybody says he totally small. He is. He's know. like he's like five nine. I've actually been around him. He's he's like a couple inches taller than me. Okay, so. Um, a similar question from uh, Pete out on the gun on the YouTube side. Are there any big name interviews scheduled? Does anybody have any interviews scheduled already or whatever it would be all like tentatively set up? He's a little guy. He was walking around. Didn't didn't get didn't Clover get the president to sign up? You gonna talk to Trump? Corner him on the whole bump stock thing? That'd be a they probably get good views on that video. Remember to tag it well. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Just don't let him knock this dude. He'll only get three views on the video. I bump into Chuck. I bump into Trump like three times a week. I bump into Trump like three times a week in traffic. I, I would be interested in hearing any feedback. Uh, if you guys uh, hear any discussions about the uh, lawsuit that uh, the slide fire people, I think it's the slide fire people are bringing against the government so yeah but they don't if, have if they talk about that i'd like to hear about it they don't have a booth here so the people that would have the inside scoop on that problem are, are very few that are here and they're not just gonna like oh you, <laughs> yeah sure ask me about it like you'd be lucky to stumble across a person to find out and then you'd be lucky enough to spur up a conversation where it slips out of them well i you know i didn't know what kind of seminars they're having so if they were having Seminars on legislation and and uh, you know other things like executive orders and the ATF or all that it might come out there is all I was thinking. No, that's true. I was even thinking about that. No, but I, I usually skip all the seminars. Yeah, I never go to them because I'm always caring. Well, like the average seminar, I think you can like just go in there and care. I think it's just the presidential one is the one you can't carry. I thought you couldn't get in that whole uh, area. Thing. No. 
You can't. I think that's so the only place you the, can carry is the expo area. The president's only there for a certain amount of time, anyway, right? Yeah. yeah, and the the vice will be on. I think maybe the next day. I think maybe. Yeah, they definitely wouldn't have them both there together. That'd be bad policy. Of course, we did run into uh, Trump Jr. down in uh, Atlanta. I, I see. I see. I, I saw him at the mall. I saw Trump Jr. at the mall two and a half weeks ago. So uh, Taters is also asking if anybody finds any discounts to let him know. So that is something that you know we'll see him at shot, and sometimes at shot they'll have you know some sort of claim, you know, disclaimers on them or something. But uh, NRA, there's often uh, like pieces of paper they'll give you that have a coupon on it, maybe a barcode. You know, so like they can, you know, so they can keep track and only hand out 50 of them or something. Uh, or sometimes it's just a code, you know, that they do for NRA or the week of the week after. And uh, that's something for everybody that's doing newsletters and, you know, feeds and stuff to maybe, you know, gather a bunch of codes that you can find. Or if you guys find them, share them with each other, right? So then everybody knows, even if it's not something you're necessarily interested in immediately, at least jot it down someplace so you can dis disseminate that kind of. Yeah, I know. I know. Guys, he does that for shot. I don't know if they do it for NRA. Though. I think they do. I don't think he says. I would be surprised if they I mean they're putting a, a lot of money into going there and they want to sell. They want to make sell product at the end of it all. They have product for sale. Yeah, because I know Flippy's always asking for codes from me, so and I'm always going and picking them up for him. I just got told to make a list. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you didn't hear him. He's like, just make me a list for. All right, well, so I guess that's NRA show. What do we do when girls attack? Depends on what they look like. That is. Nobody even has an answer. Rip their clothes off. And, and then call it self-defense. Take pictures of you ripping the clothes off of, of your self-defense action. What the fuck? <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> Are the you Catholic green? Cardot is thinking. See, that's somebody who's actually thinking about the question there. Valid response. No, it's not letting talk anymore. Or did everybody start breaking up? So, how is the living arrangements going? There's people in two main bed and breakfasts and a hotel, or more than that? Without our you know, house. Access, with, with OPSEC uh, discretion. Uh -huh. Want to see our house? Want to walk through? Our house is pretty sure. awesome. Yeah, you know, right, it's so awesome. Here we go. Okay, Let so clip, first uh, off, let's hold it horizontal, like a bunch of people on the computer. Well, give me a minute, G. First of all, give me a damn minute, and then I will. Okay. Now we oh, we're talking. All right. So this is our looking out the the front porch of the driveway, obviously. All right. So we come in here. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get a picture of the front because I call it the Brady Bunch house, dude. It's like it an is old Brady Bunch. Now, when you're and dude, it, it, it literally it looks like the. It look, I don't know what these things are in the yard here, that are, <laughs> but some kind of artwork type things with leaves. They're weird, but yeah, it looks like the Brady Bunch house or something. Now, but with the, your new phone, when you're on with Google Hangouts, is it possible for you to take still pictures while you're filming video or no? Um, I would have to screenshot or something. Okay, okay. So we're electronic locks. Uh, this is the living area. So we got a recliner, big screen TV, a couple of couches, right? Uh, pimp and table, man. They don't believe in squares or circles at all. That's retro as heck. Uh, map of Indy on the wall. That's useful. Is that an actual map that like could be beneficial for planning? I, th I think it, it gives the, the, like the subdivisions or whatever. Kind of is what it oh, is. So it's or more artsy crap, not yeah, more. it's more it's more artsy. Uh, full kitchen. Um, as you can see, the floor is slick. I got to be careful. Uh, dishwasher, stove. Uh, if you look, fully furnished with all the supplies and things that you would need. Uh, silverware, purple, so on. Uh, what next? Oh, this is pimping, dude. They got an I office in here. And some potatoes. All right, Mike. So right, so they got a full office in here. Wow, wow. Uh, 
thought this was a really cool when we have our party. This would be a really cool backdrop. Maybe set up a camera over here and just kick on the live. And people can come in here and play bongos talk or whatever. Yeah, bongos. Look. Matt, there. Why is there an R two D two doll there? There's an R two D two like ceramic and piggy bank. Like Probably a bong. And don't, don't forget this. this. Oh, oh yeah, we got yeah. in case we in case we get uh, arrested. Nice. <laughs> we got. Uh, we have a little too much fun in Indy, so this is one bedroom uh, right here. Now, is this TV. place dog friendly? Because it sure looks dog friendly. Or were they anti dog? I don't remember. They they honest with you. Does it look so they got, bumps the night? You can't beat it. No, so they've kind of got books in here and all kinds of stuff. That's the little closet. Rental, or is this something that people don't live in here and then just leave for the no, weekend? Um, no, they, they bought it, rent it, renovated it, and they, all they do is rent it out. But it's 100, 100 bucks a night. And stuff. I guess that's smart. Better yeah, I mean, I mean, for 100 bucks a night, what the heck? I mean, TV on the wall, this is the other bedroom. Closet's the same, one of those double door. And then uh, you got a half bath. And a full, I get the, there we go, full bath in here. So, oh, pretty, uh, and the Walmarts there are not 24 hours. I find that appalling also. What the hell, Walmart? What The Walmarts are 24 hours? I thought that's where the women went. That's well, where they that's, went, but they've been gone a while, so they might have had to go into another one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Maybe they found something better to do than Walmart. Hey, like, Walmart might, not be, uh, might not be 24 hours a day, but their bars are open to 3 a.m. 3 a.m.? Yes. Wow. All right, so we'll expect hey. them home about 3.30 then? Is that what you're snob, snob, I did see a Chippendales around the corner, so I'm just oh, saying. Crap. Well, that's I mean, if a Walmart are. isn't 24-7, you've got usually got um, Walgreens, right? They're... Um, Sometimes they're twenty four, especially by a high Almost as good. Well, I think there's a Walmart down down here that's twenty four. Well, Walmart. you might find a Walmart Super Center also if you type in Walmart Super Center. Then those are better odds to have a twenty four. They might only have one or two of those in a town that are open all all night. But I've seen. They also have here at the Walmart. house. They've got a, a fenced in backyard with a grill and a fire pit. That's kind of cool for the part of the fire pit. Pretty cool. Now. uh how far guy uh, are you guys Ubering in, or are you guys driver driving into the show? No, nah, we'll drive. Then we're only like fifteen minutes from downtown. That's what it says. Yeah, I got a rental. I mean, y'all may think yours is cool, but we have a two hundred yard rifle range in the backyard. Oh, that's well, pretty maybe, cool. Maybe I don't know. We it may only be seventy five. Hold on. So what? Snob is now walking around in his place. Yeah, I just got to show y'all how we have you beat. All right, you see this? You see this? You got a door? Right, our, yeah. This is our laundry room. Now wait. Well, I'm glad you guys have a door. That's cool. That's pretty cool. You got a wash and dryer. Now wait is for that, it. Wait is for that it. enough toilet paper? I'm hoping so. There is four of us. There are six of but us. But yeah, that's an Who odd puts a microwave out. in the laundry room? That's pretty <laughs> ingenious right there. <laughs> that's kind of what we thought. Well, that's kind of strange. But I like having warm laundry detergent, you know? <laughs> Those Tide Pods. You know, it'd be great if you had a. It'd be great if you had a microwave in the bathroom. That would be kind of cool. So you make yourself a burrito while you're on the pot. Yeah, if we had, if we could put a TV, a microwave, and that in there, it'd just be a one-stop shop. Yeah. Did somebody bring know. all those guitars? No, I think they were included. Uh, they were, they were in that wow, that's interesting. Oh hell, this could be interesting. Those neighbors gotta love living next to a place that's a rental that leaves. Get, did they leave a drum set in there? No, we didn't see a drum set anyways. Haven't seen it. They got the bongos, we got guitars. Yeah, you guys got to bring the bongos. We'll bring the guitars and we'll have a band. Oh, that's a... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, we're getting the band back together. There. There's a stove over to your left there? That was Hold pretty on. good. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't work, they said. Oh. I think they just don't want us burning down. Now, wait just a second. I got the ultimate right here. Do you guys have a fire truck at your house? Oh, snap. They have to walk everywhere. See, that's dangerous right there. We can get some, some serious trouble with that thing. You could take that to NRA and not have to walk around like a sucker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those pool uh, carts got nothing like on the ambulance. There and they leave for the weekend, or is that also like a rental only? No, I think it's a rental. I mean, there's no signs that they actually live here. There's just these toys here. Huh. I guess they figure that's going to entertain people that get rained in or something, like you guys are having rain right now, right? Hey, go back to the guitars. I didn't get to see those. Oh, hold on. Like two guitars and two amps or something, huh? Yeah. Oh, there's amps and all? Oh, yeah. that's a bass. No, there we go. There's six string. Sweet. I know okay. nothing about them, but there's, yeah. I did know yeah, the thing that they're there. That's only a three string <laughs> bass, though. 
I know out there, <laughs> uh, out there right. they, they had uh, a bunch of uh, B and Bs that were kid friendly for you know families coming out. So yeah, this one's kid friendly and pet friendly. Oh, it's pet. Friendly. I, mean, I, I I don't That's see my wife Indianapolis is like the vacation destination. Maybe it is. I don't know. Well, maybe for the races. For one weekend a year, they make all their money. Where are we going, Dad? We're going Tardot to Indy this year. Watching the hey, chat. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Tardot. What type of batteries do you need for the microphone? Oh, double A's. <laughs> double A's. Double A's. Okay, double go ahead, whoever was talking. So he's calling it a microphone, is he? Okay. By the way, uh, Indiana is known as the most racist state in the union. The most recorded lynchings in the United States have happened in the state of Indiana. So it is fact. You know why? Because they got to live right next to Illinois. Everybody always confuses them. And they look the same. <laughs> I like that's pretty funny. Nobody gives any Indiana any respect. It, everybody knows it's just Illinois' little buddy. You know, like that one cartoon where's that big dog and that little dog bouncing around next to it? That's Indiana to Illinois. Spike. Which one's Ren and which one's Stimpy? No, that's too equal. I'm talking little dog and Spike. Is it Spike? Ren and Stimpy or mice? No, Ren and Stimpy are a bunny. And a oh, mouse. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I'm thinking of the pinky in the brain. Gun shops. Anybody been to a gun shop? Seen any gun shops? I can tell you about a couple that I've been to in Indianapolis. Well, I wanted to stop at the one in uh, Terre Haute, but I didn't because I forgot about it. It was pouring down rain. I didn't. I didn't even think about this until just now. But I think down where Rick lives, and shame on Rick for not going there if he hasn't been there. I am not even kidding. One of the best surplus stores I've ever experienced is in Southern Indiana. It is one of the coolest surplus stores ever. And it's probably an hour something. So if any of you do want to consider taking a south and then west route home, you could potentially go past a killer surplus store, which is really cool, and then experience awesome Kentucky, which is way better than Illinois. I went to a gun shop today, but it was in Arkansas. I was waiting for Clover and that guy's wife to meet up with us where we were connecting. Had about a couple, had about an hour and a half or so. So I uh, went over to a gun shop. They've been there for next year will be their 60th year, owned by one family. It was pretty cool. Right on. Did you get a chance to hang out very long? Yeah, for about oh 10 or 15 minutes. And I asked them if I could. I took some videos and some pictures, and I told him I'd do a video when I got back next week and tag him in. So he was real thankful. It was a young kid that was working it, and he said that it's a one family. The the couple that owns it now, I've had it for about 45 years and before them it was the parents but uh it's been in the family for next year will be 60 years i thought it was pretty cool in middle of nowhere arkansas it's pretty cool how did meeting up along the route go then did it work all right you guys were able to convoy in yeah yeah we we meant the last half of the trip you know for me it was i guess we, the last six hours or so we were together it won't be too long before when stuff like that happens, you'll be able to sit in the front car, whatever, and then drive one car and the other car will just tag along. Sounds like that. Tech. What are you talking about? That's, that's what they did. They pulled they pulled Ghost in with a rental car. They just took the chain to it and he just rode in the back when steering it. Save gas. No, that's not true. They strapped me on the top of the car. Let's be real honest about it. Oh, okay. I'm doing, a, doing a quick search, I found about 50 gun shops and shooting ranges. All around Indy. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch. I stopped at a pawn shop just because I seen it when we was driving through the ghetto, and they didn't have anything but tennis shoes and like coach purses, I think. So that was a waste of my time. Well, we got silence on the gun channel side. Somebody's really chatting on that side anymore. Uh, YouTube side. Not much happening, so anything else? We don't need to keep everybody up all night. Appreciate everybody jumping in. Um, you've got a full day tomorrow, it sounds like, and then a full day Saturday. And then you've got whatever it sounds like people are staying until Sunday. So that's a unique opportunity, unlike uh, even Tulsa, where there's l less time. Unlike Tulsa, though, everybody's not staying in one hotel where you have a community lobby, literally downstairs, to hang out and get coffee and stuff. 
So I'm just gonna, I just gonna throw this out there that you can eat up a heck of a lot of time trying to meet up and you know to get a bunch of people in the uh, coming up with like we're gonna be here at six is a lot easier than let's try meeting up at the restaurant next. Because then it takes four hours for everybody to get up and do stuff, and that kills an evening. I don't know how much extra activities people got going on or what, but I'm gonna throw out there: you only have, if you've got three days, you know, maybe nine opportunities to eat. Um, you know, those are opportunities to do content and uh, experience local eateries and that kind of stuff. So, um, uh, opportunities to take somebody to lunch. You know, uh, they might be busy with meetings, but they probably schedule themselves half hour for lunch. It's an opportunity. Hey, can I? chat with you while I buy lunch. Uh, remember yeah. that. Um, you know, hopefully you guys will have fun at the um, barbecue. Is that tomorrow night or Saturday night? Uh, Saturday. Saturday night. Okay. Hey, I so got a then, question uh, for Tardot. Um, so you guys picked up your media passes. Did you guys go to the media room to pick yeah. up your passes? Yes. Okay, so Tardot, comparison to Dallas last year, what's the media room like? It looks other than the fact that it's not split up, it looks almost exactly the same. Same type of setup. About, it was about the same size also. Yeah. yeah. That kind of sucks. Henry's always got a slow media room. That's not their emphasis. Yeah. It's just a room so that they have a place to put a desk to do the facilitation of getting you the badges, but they don't consider having a place to put the media to give them a comfortable spot. Right. Right. Yeah, you definitely get uh, you get used to shot show, and so yeah. It's, yeah, it spoils you <laughs> for sure. And yeah, they're just different. So again, you guys have an opportunity to hang out with eighty thousand uh, like-minded people in the yeah. culture and the community. Um, they were talking in the chat earlier uh, in Sarge's chat, I guess. Um, about um, going around and collecting swag. I mean, I don't want to shit on nothing, but I'll just throw out there that the industry meeting, like SHOT Show, they are bringing swag, not just for the people that are hanging around at SHOT Show, like the, the 60,000 attendees, but to uh, give gunshots. Places I go, I'm going to ask them <laughs> what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? You mean mute? Yeah, I'll mute you here. So then uh, they're, you know, they're bringing swag in giant numbers to SHOT Show, in order to hand out handfuls or even bags to gun shops that are selling a lot of their product, right? Or uh, media that might need them for whatever projects. When you start talking about NRA, where it's a, a meeting for 80,000 members, uh, they are gonna be rationing the heck out of whatever swag they might have, if they even have swag. I do think it's probably not realistic to expect to get a big bag of swag to take home as gifts. Now, I might be wrong. I don't go to every NRA, but I just wanted to uh, let people know this is uh, an opportunity to hang out with the people that are the NRA, right? Um, y'all are activists and y'all are creating content. Y'all are going to be for three days with 80,000 NRA members. Take the time to just stop every once in a while and experience the, the, the sea of human beings you're going to be hanging out with. You're going to have your finger on the pulse of our industry, of our, of our culture and our community like no one does. It can be industry centric when we're trying to create product and, you know, use the opportunity we have there. But I just want to throw that out. Take a pause. Remember, you've got an opportunity to talk to the human beings that make up the NRA. Imagine the potential of outreach and uh, something in a, in a show like this. Um, those opportunities we had at SHOT, you know, similar, but just with a whole different type of, of audience and, and uh, peers uh at this show uh it sounds like it's raining um you guys have your uh, sort of everything down uh, i don't want to have it go on all night because we could chat forever but is there anything else uh that we want to bring up tonight before you guys start your show i'm just excited you know we've been in a car all day and just ready to get going tomorrow gonna, gonna miss you g yeah, <laughs> so I'll start up a show on Saturday at 10 a.m. for anybody that wants to show up at the member meeting and uh, take uh, Jeff Knox's advice. Uh, or if you're just going to hang out, I guess, and watch the people that hang out in the member meeting at 10 a.m. on Saturday uh, in order to cause as much uh, 
awareness as possible to the issues that the NRA is facing uh, to make it as clean a surgical remover of the, mobile of the cancer as possible. And uh, I'm hoping that, you know, everybody's uh, aware that there's people out here that aren't at the show that are more than willing to set up rooms and facilitate live stuff if you have any issues and, uh, you know, send out links or whatever, help send emails and, uh, yeah, have a good show. Angelina. Hey, G, uh, are you talking 10 Indy time or 10 your time? Are you talking about 10 Indianapolis time, which is East Coast time? Oh, yeah. I'm always talking the time zone that the event's in. Okay. Okay. So it's East Coast time. So it's 10 Eastern. Okay. Yep. 10 Eastern on Saturday morning. Um, Angelina, anything going on in California? You didn't get to the show. Um, no, I had something to do locally this weekend. So I'm here. And then next month I'll be on vacation probably. Um, just selling patches. So if you haven't seen the California magazine patch, uh, definitely check that out and totally buy one. They're still available. I thought they were getting low in quantity. They're getting low. So, um, yeah, there's that. If you want a flat dark earth version, there was like 40 left at two o'clock. Um, but there's probably less now. And then that color is totally gone. Um, the black version, we still have some left, but I mean, they're going pretty good. So I'm assuming by like this time next week, we probably won't have any more. Um, I do want to announce something. I know there's a lot of people doing a lot of booth appearances and I just want to you know, put it out there that tomorrow from 11 to 12, Clover and I will be appearing at the Northwest Restroom, sponsored by Obnoxious One. So if you want to come by and see us, come see us. Right on. Now, is that a signature or like a meet and greet? <laughs> yeah, you know, a whatever you want. We can meet and greet. We can, we can do whatever you want. Just, uh, you know, bring toilet paper. <laughs> hey, all he caught was Obnoxious One because he was talking and didn't hear what you said, Ghost. Can you repeat it? I said that everyone's doing booth appearances this weekend and Clover and I will be at the Northwest restroom inside the exhibit hall from 11 to 12 tomorrow doing meet and greet, but you have to bring your own, uh, it's BYO uh, toilet paper. <laughs> Sponsored by obnoxious one, not midnight range cam. Sponsored by obnoxious one. Yeah. <laughs> Sponsored by quilted. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I want to, you know, I don't know if I want to get in on, on midnight thing. So. <laughs> he gets he gets kind of touchy about his toilet. Gonna kill chat, kill the chat. Nah, I probably should have apologized when Marco was talking about that optic or whatever before. Is there anything that you guys know of or looking forward to or been requested to check out that's being released new at NRA annual meeting? Yeah, Clover and I, I uh, got messaged by Pincus today, and we're supposed to go over to uh, a booth that he's going to be at tomorrow and do a live with with him for a new uh, POF. Is going to put out a new rifle tomorrow, so we're going to go out there and meet with Pincus about that. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know. I think that's a I had somebody ask me to go to uh, F1 Firearms, so I'm going to go yep. swing by that. Go there too. I think Clover and I will be there sometime this weekend. Yep. I'm go by Ruger, see the new, the new revolvers I got coming out. I forget what, I forget what they named them. I'm, I have a request. There's supposed to be a movie prop company at NRA, and they have all the John Wick guns from the movies. And yeah. uh, they're supposed to have some other guys in Canada. Really? So I would I'd appreciate some good photos and some uh, videos with those guys. The problem they have any uh, if they have any memorials to Gunny, I'd like to, to see pictures of that too. Ah, that, that would be good if they had one. I don't know if they're going to have a memorial to Gunny. Uh, so, uh, uh, Dead Horse, the the guns themselves are usually in. Like you know, like they're usually under glass, but that same movie company, I, like I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, other props like the Hammer of Thor and stuff like that, because they have like 30 of them or whatever, um, and, and they're just fucking styrofoam anyways. Uh, those like they'll let you pick up and, and and like hold and stuff like that. But usually, the actual gun itself, like I remember Glock had the John Wick gun and that was in glass, and even the people that I knew couldn't get me. They could take off the glass. So it's 
kind of hard to get. And you know, and then you deal with glare, and no matter what you do in fucking Lightroom, that shit ain't coming out. Uh, if you bring like a big rock, smash the glass, you get like four or five pictures before they come rush you. Or, or you can convince a girl to attack you and then just accidentally bump into the display and knock it over and then pick it up and be like, oh, I'm sorry, this, this fell, and snap, snap, snap. See, so that's what you do when girls attack. Nice, nice way to wrap that up. So let's see, anybody else have anything going on other than a gizzard? You've got a show I hear on Fridays, which would be tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm going to open that up if anybody up there at Indy wants to uh, join. We can definitely make the show a topic. So we'll use it however we need. Your show goes live at what time, Eastern? Nine Eastern. So y'all want to keep that in mind? Uh, Gizzards will be at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's probably, I don't know what uh, NRA is like. It ends at five, right? Five. On Friday? Six. 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 So I doubt it's like, I mean, I've been to Indianapolis a few times before, so I maybe not with 60,000 people there, but um, I just don't think it's a Vegas. So I, I'm guessing by nine, everybody will be to where they're going, unless you find a bunch of after events to go to, in which case Gary can send you uh, what I end up doing is email everybody the link, and then I go to my phone and look at my emails, grab the link, and then start texting everybody because you know it's difficult sometimes to grab the emails while they're all on phones. Well, we're having a concert at our house tomorrow night, and Ghost is bringing the bongo drums. Didn't you hear that? I bring the bongos. And goes. I'm bringing the bongos. You got a bongos and two different guitars, so somebody can probably get a jug. <laughs> the jug. <laughs> Roll call jug. be here tomorrow. I still have a jug. Roll call will be the jug. Yep. Yeah. And spoons. We have the moonshine jug. We got some spoons. I bet you we can get some yeah, spoons going. Yeah. The spoons. It's in Indiana, so there's moonshine jugs just laying all around. I think I see one on top of the cabinet in here. Actually, like so far, I've been to two bars so far, and the bourbon selection is pretty shitty. So not impressed. Not impressed at all. I was Nate here a couple is, of years ago uh, for a buddy of mine's funeral, and the bar scene was pretty good in Indy if you go to the right ones. Is uh, Guru going? Pink? Marco? Uh, no. So I was actually supposed to walk by him on the way up to Pink's, and um, he texted me like, like literally like as soon as I picked up the rental car and was like, uh, bro, I got swamped with work today. I'm booked to like 6 p.m. And I was going to swing by him like, 1 30 2 p.m and he was like because he had told me earlier he's like yeah just swing up early like i'll just i'll just leave work early and then like as soon as he went into work that day like he texted me like 9 30 in the morning he's like bro i walked in it's a shit show at my job so we were supposed to like hang out and like you know for a couple hours or whatever and then and then eventually i make it to pinks or whatever but uh he, he texted me earlier and he's like no and on my way back he's going to be out of town so that's a no-go either Uh, and it doesn't look like Smeggy's anywhere near there, so I don't think you guys will see a Smeggy sighting. Um, it's melting. It's spring is coming. Anybody else? I know there's a bunch of slew of people on the Snobs connection there. Anybody over there got anything up, coming up? Am I missing shows? Budget does a show, but he's there. Is he going to do his show from there? I think he said he was doing it from his motel tomorrow. Evening. Yeah, he said he, he said he was. Is he with you guys, or is he in route? No, he's coming tomorrow afternoon. Coming tomorrow sometime. Yeah. I think and I'm gonna I mean, we don't need rules or nothing, but it'd be cool if we had somebody who's like off site to help keep track because I mean with you know, we we've got like a disconnect. We don't even know who all's supposed to be there. So like for example, how am I supposed to get pissed that everybody wasn't in the G circle unless I know how many people could have possibly been in the G circle? <laughs> So we should have like some sort of like treasurer or scribe or something. That can yeah, we'll definitely that throw them under the bus if they're not here. Technically, G webs, you need a G string to complete a G circle. Because without the string, there is no circle. No, it's a whole different channels. But uh, Marco created the gun channels G circle back in the beginning of gun channels, and look at that's turned into. It's been awesome. Y'all are what make gun channels what it is. Uh, thanks, everybody, for efforting to be out there and valuing what you're doing. Uh, I'm hoping everyone grows. This is an opportunity. You only get a couple opportunities a year. You know, you're all putting in effort to get there. 
value what you're doing. Those people value that you are there, that you're putting in that effort. Make big goals and take big bites out of the fucking apple. We're all capitalists. Do it. Um, we're going to wrap up with a question for everybody as we leave. Um, so on the way to the show tomorrow, when you go by the, uh, um, the what, either the uh, pawn shop for Snob or a DVD store for everybody else, the question is, are you going to buy Way of the Dragon? Are you going to buy uh, Lone Wolf McQuaid? Or are you going to buy Invasion USA to have Chuck Norris sign at the show? Angelina? Tick, tick, tick. She's going to attack. Clover attack? McQuaid. Cycle camp. Oh, Invasion. Dead horse. Delta Force. Ghost. Way of the Dragon for sure. Delta Force wasn't on the list. Gizzard? Uh, I'll go with Ghost. Way of the Dragon. Pink? I'll be Way of the Dragon. Invasion USA. Right on. Snob? Well, mine would have to be one of the seasons of Walker, Texas Ranger, because I grew up watching that stupid show. That's not an op. Don't you know the rules of this game? <laughs> Who else I is over with Snob? We got Tardot. Side on one. <laughs> I probably Walker, Texas Ranger, too. My mom had my mom used to watch that show like crazy. Who else is over there? Ohio? Yeah. What's the question? Uh what if you picked a movie for Chuck Norris to sign, what movie would you buy for him? Then you go to the store tomorrow to buy a DVD to have Chuck Norris sign at the NRA show for you. Have a video of Chuck Norris sign in your DVD tomorrow. What DVD is it gonna be? Lone Wolf McQuaid, uh Invasion USA or uh, Way of the Dragon. Expendables 2. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, we got a massive disconnect because I can't hear what they're saying. Do we get an answer? <laughs> they didn't have a real you answer. Mean, I you may not really hear what they're going to say. You're all wrong. You can buy all three and have Chuck Norris sign all three of the best movies ever made that Chuck Norris was involved in. Are you kidding me? He was in Way of the Dragon with Bruce Lee in 1972. You're going to be able to go buy that DVD and have Chuck Norris sign it in front of you on DVD. Or I mean, on video. Talk about a channel promo. Uh, have fun at the show, everybody. You can get like three DVDs for like five bucks. Do it. 